June 1st, Anthony Joshua's American dream was turned to a nightmare by the new champion, Andy Ruiz Jr. AJ was down, but not out. In Saudi Arabia, AJ has a chance to win back his former belts. And there'll be people who have been saying that if you do lose this fight, it's the end of Anthony Joshua. What do you say to that? They should shut up and focus on their own career. I decide when it's in there, Anthony Joshua. No one else. No one decides when it begins. No one decides when it ends, except for myself. Previously, I spoke to AJ, the champion, but now the belts are on the other side of the table. So AJ, we're here once again. I'm going to ask you the question I asked you before the Rears fight. How do you feel? I feel fine. Um, just got another fight coming up. You know? It's what we do. We go to battle, and this is just another fight. But the, uh, the prize is big, the prize is good, and the prize is becoming two-time heavyweight champion of the world. So if you were to talk me through that journey you've gone on since that loss, what have you learned about AJ? I'm a soldier. I don't change underneath tricky circumstances. I don't see problems that can revert to getting me angry. I see solution, which makes me generally chilled out. In New York, AJ was toppled when he tried to win in style. Now he must win at all costs. Securing a W, <laughs> that's the key now. You know, as much as it is about being entertaining, um, the win is the most important thing. Standing in AJ's way, Andy Ruiz Jr., the first ever Mexican-American heavyweight world champion. I just got these belts. You think I want to lose them right away? I don't know. And there'll be people who doubted you before the fight. Physically, people were making memes. And what did you say to them now? <laughs> Well, we did it, you know, we did it. Um, I still got more to prove. I know there's still a lot of doubters. There's always going to be doubters, there's always going to be appreciators, but as long as you use that energy of the people that are doubting you, like I did on June 1st, that's what's going to give me um, the victory. How big of an impact was winning that fight now? How has it changed your life? It changed my life in all different ways, not just mine, but my kids, my family, my moms, my brothers. Um, you know, we don't have to struggle no more. We don't have to worry about the rent, um, our payments, stuff like that, because that's something that we were, we were um, financially um, worried about. So now all this hard work and dedication that I did since I was six years old, it finally paid off, and I still got to win December 7th. So what does it mean to you to be the first ever Mexican-American World Heavyweight Champion? It means everything. Like I said, we've been working for this my whole life. This was my dream, and I made my dreams come true. Not just for me, but for my Mexican people. Everybody looks up to me, so that's why it gives me that extra, um, the extra ego, you know, the extra drive to to want to win. On the seventh of December, Anthony Joshua will be doing more than trying to win back his titles. He'll be fighting to rebuild his legacy. Antoine Allen, ITV News.